actually go ahead and turn it right over to her so she can talk to you about her business. Hi, so my name is Melody Smith. I am founder, owner of Candle Boutique and Company. We are actually just celebrating our one year anniversary. Um, in March, we just celebrated our one year from you so 
we can definitely make sure that's in the description of this video to let everyone know where they can go and yeah. link up with you. I love how you not only have the services for the women, but you also offer those services for men because yeah. those are sometimes those are lacking as well. You hear about all the assistance for yeah, women absolutely. and children. It's like, okay, there's men out here too, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. And the men are supposed to be our leaders, so we need right. to empower them as well. So, yeah, yeah absolutely. So, I really, really like that. So, Cincinnati, Ohio, that's great. Um, stop by, visit us. We generally carry exclusive items that are only sold at the pop-up shop. We don't put all our products on the website because we want you to have that anticipation, okay. you know, like, hey, I have to come see the Boutique <laughs> Company to see what they have that's not on the rest on their website. So, um, but I don't have anything coming up at this moment, but stay connected. I have some things in the making, so. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I definitely like the, the pipeline that you're creating here. That is very, very um, unique, and I do like it. It really shows that Thank we you. can do this. We can be out here, and we can make, make these right. connections and build these bridges together. So I really, Absolutely. really think. You know, thank you for doing that, and I'm definitely gonna be tapping into the business. I am new to business, and I'm like, I want to learn as much as I can and collaborate where yeah. I can. So, yeah. please, please, um, join um when I do the Q and A on Canada Boutique and Company about the small business program. I just graduated. From, I graduated from that program with my employment agency business um, because you have to make a certain amount of revenue. Mm -hmm. However, if you aren't there yet then they have other programs that will get you to that point so they'll keep putting you in different programs until you elevate to the level that you know you want to be so and the goal of the program is in which is has over 97 percent accuracy um all the small businesses that graduate from this program grow to at least medium if not large size businesses so if you have that mindset then you can do anything you put your mind to, and when you have a team of people who are supporting you and they know what it takes, they've been there, and so you can ask all the questions, and it's, it's just amazing. I cannot wait. Everybody stay <laughs> So before we let you go, just one final question. If there was one thing you could tell someone who's on the fence about jumping out there, starting a business, what would you tell them? You know, just just be yourself mm -hmm. like as long as you stay consistent success does not happen overnight mm -hmm. it's it's not a lot of people you know you see them at the success point but you don't see how they get to that point so that's why so people get small business owners unfortunately get so frustrated so easily and they quit so early mm -hmm. and they probably was just so close mm -hmm. but you know just because People don't share their failures, and failure is a part of growth. If you don't fail, then you're not growing. Yes. So in, in business, you're going to experience a, a lot of growing pains. And just do your research. Um, the money will come. Mm -hmm. The main thing is building relationships and networking. If you don't have that, then if you're just focused on the money and just going, you know, then... Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how small businesses get burnt out, and that's how a lot of them are, you know, starting and closing so soon because they're so focused on the money. You have to be focused on your business, you know, working on your business. And to be a small business owner, people think like, okay, I'm going to be a business owner, and I'm going to, I don't want to work for anybody, I'm not going to work. No, you're going to work more hours than you work. Or being on someone else's payroll. So if you, if you are coming from a lazy background, a lazy 40-hour employee, you're going to be an even worse boss. So mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, yeah, you just you just have to keep going, work hard, and just know that, just trust the process. It's mm -hmm. a process. My first business, I mean, see, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my fourth year, and when I first started that business, I had no idea. I didn't even know... Um, I had to sign my, my employee's payroll check. So my employee called me, my first employee. He's like, they're not, they see they can't cash this check. And I'm like, Ooh, what's going on? But I didn't know because I'm self-taught. But okay. this year is the first time in my fourth year of business that I have, you know, leaders, advisors. So, but I've already kept going and learned what I learned. And so now I'm around 
people, you know, who are assisting me and you definitely have to be around the right people. If you are a business owner and you're around someone who doesn't support you or doesn't, you know, add value to your business, you you have to keep yourself surrounded by business professionals because you have to learn the lingo. That was my thing. I didn't know the lingo. So wondering, just thinking back in the beginning when I first started my employment agency, why I was being treated the way that I was because they knew people know and they'll take advantage of you but I mean you just got to keep going you know things will happen I had one time 35 employees and when the pandemic hit I had no employee I was about to I know I had two employees left but I couldn't survive off of two employees I was about to shut my business down I cried for like a week and you know just let it out and keep going it's okay you know we all have our moments to where we don't want to do it anymore we want to shut our business down but just take a break we all need a mental break we only human but don't quit girl that is true i definitely feel like you have given us a whole lot of information in this time so um, (laughs) so before we go i just want you to let everyone know where they can find your website to shop your